How are you all doing? It's Ian Parallax here and today I'm bringing you a marketplace guide. So my goal is when you're done watching this video, you will have the confidence to make purchases with your gold or gems, regardless of whether you're early game, mid game, or late game. So sit back and let's get started. So before we jump right into the marketplace guide, I'm just going to give you guys a little history of what the marketplace was and what it is right now. So way back, um, originally the marketplace only had one, one page of eight items that were really randomly generated that could be anything from different tier gear to three star heroes to profit orbs, heroic summon scroll, um, wishing tokens or... Um, I can't even remember what they were. Um, they were casino chips before. And you could refresh. Uh, you got one free refresh and then the rest cost like 20, 20 gems, 50 gems, something around there. But you got one page of randomly generated items. Uh, and that guide from where it is today. So now we have four pages of the exact same items. So this, I really like the change they made, and this has a drastic effect. It makes it a lot easier for players to manage uh, your gems, your gold, what you need, what you don't need. So this, the, the guides are completely different. So we are going to start, and I'm going to give you the updated marketplace guide, uh, and we're going to start with early game players. So early game, I'm considering either your brand new or you don't have a full five-star team, or you really just got a full five-star team. Nowadays, with E3s, uh, if you don't have any six-star heroes, I'm going to consider that early game. So right when you're starting out, uh, and even going into early game, there's going to be four bottlenecks, or four resources or items that are going to prevent you from making progress. The first is gold. Second is spirit gold and spirit are the main currencies that help you level your heroes so that is why early on you are going to run into a wall when you don't have enough spirit and you don't have enough gold next is hero promotion stone so when you're going to try to advance uh, your heroes even farther um, basically tear them up you're going to run out of hero promotion stones very quickly uh, especially if you're not um, if you have multiple heroes that you're trying to to level next and last of all is five star heroes so i'm going to go over a little bit of five star heroes um, if you pay if you put a little money into the game five star heroes won't be as big of a a constraint to start if you put a little money in in the early game you could get three five star heroes the norma you get for registering your email I think it's a Sierra for your first purchase and the Dan if you if you buy that $10 pack. So, but we'll go over free to play first. So with those four constraints in mind, gold, spirit, hero promotion stones and five star heroes. As an early game player, I want you guys to spend your gems mainly um, very very conservatively and not conservatively in a smart manner. So what I want you to do, don't even worry about this page. I don't want you guys to even look and worry about spending gems on uh, magic dust. This is for uh, artifacts, um, impro improvements to your artifacts. You don't need, or you don't need this um, right now. Sorry, not artifacts. I'm being silly. It's uh, it should be not artifacts, stones. Excuse me, misspoke there. Yeah, you need um, them to level stones and you'll get plenty of that from the celestial island eventually so don't worry about that right now so what you are going to want to do is so ignore this page even and this is the page this page is one that you will potentially buy things from now early game a million gold is a lot and 30 million is extremely extremely large amount so i would only recommend purchasing the uh, spirit with gold if you absolutely need it so your purchases early game are to help get you out of 
rut and make progress quickly. So the faster you can make progress and complete more campaign stages, the more spirit and hero promotion stones you will get. So the faster we could get you over those roadblocks, the faster you can get out of needing to spend your gold and gems on items such as spirit, hero promotion stones. I would definitely, um, if you're in a bind and you need some hero promotion stones, I would use 150 gems to get 500. I probably would even use 300 to get 1,000. Um, if you have 500 for 2,000 is a lot at early game, and I don't know if you'll ever need that much. I think that at that point you're kind of overspending. Uh, however, if you do have the gems and want to, that's completely fine. Just keep in mind you will need gems. Uh, another major bottleneck will be bag space. So you will need to save some gems to uh, go ahead and uh, increase that. But that's for uh, another guide. This page, ignore it. These are three star heroes for 300k and a, five, a four star for 1.5 million and then just other heroes and shards. You do not want to buy these. It is not worth it, um, especially at this stage in the game. Money's going to be tight. A uh, three star hero here and there isn't going to help you at all. And now here, here is another tab uh, that I would recommend potentially buying some things from. So to start out, the your arena tokens are not something that I would spend in. It's going to take you a while before you could get enough tokens to complete the monthly militant events. Um, so I would not purchase those. I do not like, and personally, I do not like super wishing coins. Um, I do not think they're worth their... I'd rather have one Profit Orb than two Wishing Coins. I get way more 5-star heroes from Profit Orbs. I've only gotten... I've had used thousands of these Super Wishing Coins or Super uh, Casino Chips before that and only got like a few 5-star heroes as opposed to tons, probably hundreds of 5-star heroes from Profit Orbs. Uh, next, I, I don't think you're going to be able to, to complete the Casino event. So I would recommend... And like I said, your other bottleneck is going to be five-star heroes. I would recommend either going for a Heroic Summon Scroll or Profit Orb. In my experience, I am very unlucky with Heroic Summon Scrolls, so I usually never buy any uh, Heroic Summon Scrolls. Why? Because I just don't think... Even a 1,000 with 8, if you look right now, we'll just take a quick detour, I am... On 162 straight Heroic Summon Scrolls with no 5 star. There is no way that I would even go 50 Profit Orbs without getting a 5 star hero. So that is why, my, my personal opinion, I would, as an early game, I would either buy one of them. Um, because sometimes you don't have enough to buy 500 gems. You just need to get a 4 star or maybe get lucky with a 5 star. But I would recommend either pur purchasing a Profit Orb if you can or a Heroic Summon Scroll. Now you're going to say, do I need to buy anything daily? Is there something I should purchase every, purchase every single day? Early game, no. I think you need to just go situational at what's preventing you. So now I was talking about early game free to play. Now we're going to go on to pay to play. Say you have a little bit of gems to spend. Um, I would definitely buy... Uh, profit orbs. If you have a ton of gems, uh, I would I would get some profit orb. Uh, maybe not every day, every other day. If you can, make sure. Um, and maybe a heroic summon scroll. Um, it's up to you. I at that point, depending on your gem income, I would. If you have enough, and every day you're just getting, you have all the cards, and and you purchase packs regularly. You're going to want to focus on getting items like the Profit Orb, the Heroic Summon Scrolls, and the Arena Tokens. Why? Because the faster you can get resources built up to fully complete the events, the more you'll get out of it. I still would not purchase any 3-star or 4-star heroes uh, for gems. I would purchase the Hero Promotion Stones, um, at least to get you pro progressing. I wouldn't purchase these daily yet. Uh, until you're later in the game. So that is early game in a nutshell and why I, what I would pick and why. Just as a quick summary, so early game is situational. 
you're going to be constrained on gold, spirit, hero promotion stone, and five star heroes. So use your gems and gold extremely wisely to get you over uh, uh, the humps you're in right now. So if you're at a wall, use it for spirit, buy spirit. If you need hero promotion stones, this time buy hero promotion stones. And if you're trying to get five stars, live around the heroic summon scroll and profit orb every once in a while. So now, with that, let's move on to mid game. So for mid game, the biggest thing is five star heroes and completing monthly events and the weekly events. So at, at this stage in the game, you probably have hopefully uh, a few, you should definitely have a few six stars um, maybe even depending on your play style, you might have a, like one or two seven stars and then the rest five stars. So regardless of what your, your play style is, your main constraint is going to be five star heroes and the best way to get uh, more five star heroes in my opinion is through fully completing the, um, the weekly and monthly events. So what I would recommend purchasing, if Gold is not an issue. So at this point, usually you have long down times where you're grinding and you're grinding and you're grinding. So I'm going to assume that your spirit and hero promotion stones aren't bottlenecks. But if they still are the same rules that applied for early game of purchasing what you need to get over, over the wall applies here. So I'm not saying every day you need to buy a hero promotion stone and spirit. Uh, really, in middle game, you, I would not recommend buying Spirit, but if you need it to make that progress, I would go for it. Again, I would not purchase anything from here. You do not. If you should have your uh, Celestial Island going, you should be getting some of this daily. Um, like right now, um, I have like 500,000. So I mean, I'm in late game, end game ish area, but I still middle game would not recommend anything from this page. Again, this page is situational other than these items. I would never spend 300 gems on, on one four-star hero um, or three-star shards. You, it's not worth it. If gold isn't an issue, I would consider buying um, at least the five star, the four-star hero shards to start. Um, at this middle game, early middle game, even late middle game, Gold is still something that you're not going to be able to throw around willy-nilly. You're going to need to use it to level um, your stone away or level up heroes as well. So do not waste um, your gold. So I would say of this page, daily, if you can, purchase those four-star hero shards. It will help you get five stars in the long run. And this is the other main page. So early game, or excuse me, mid-game. Like I said, my preference, I don't like Heroic Summon Scrolls. I'm not lucky with them, so I usually don't buy any uh, unless I'm somehow run out for a, like I summon too many during an event and I need one to complete the dailies. But I usually never purchase Heroic Summon Scrolls. I, I, also, I don't purchase Prophet's Blessing um, at all. I don't think that's worth it as well. Now, I would definitely daily buy the arena tokens, and I would most likely, unless you're of, you have a ton of hero or <coughs> excuse me, if you have a ton of arena tickets built up, I wouldn't buy them. But in my experience, get you need to get moving and have enough to complete the monthly events. So I would purchase these five, and I would purchase these ten every single day until you get to a point where you're replenishing your tokens enough to complete the monthly event uh, or, or militant event every single time. No, no to the super, um, uh, super wishing coin and I would purchase these eight wishing coins and a profit orb every single time if you can. Uh, if not, what I usually do is buy these um, every once in a while. Um, and if I can, I will buy a profit orb. This is probably something you can't do daily unless you have both of the, what do they call it, privilege cards and all that and buy gems regularly. But, so these this guide is kind of for the pay to play and free to play players as well. 
If you are pay to play and have some more gems to spend, you can, uh, if you have a lot, you can get some hero promotion stones uh, daily or every once in a while if you want more so than, than not just to build up a buffer because any stage in the game, even late game, you are going to need a large quantity. Um, but I would think if you're pay to play, uh, I would try to start buying these daily. Again, same read, same logic. You want to get the amount of resources to complete those monthly and weekly events up so you could almost complete them every single time. Now, Heroic Summon Scrolls, I've never been able to really fully complete the event, only I think but once. So you usually have to save these up for one or two events. But So just as a summary, we're in middle game. Your main constraints are going to be five-star heroes. Uh, and that is why you're going to want to spend your gems on getting more five-star heroes and on items that will help you complete monthly and weekly events. If you're a pay-to-play player, um, or put even if you just put some gems into the or buy some gems and cards, you can also work on purchasing these daily or more so than not. Now, I'm not saying you have to purchase them every day. That might drain your gems too fast. But if it's every other day or once every three days, you want to try to build up your your heroic summon scroll pile. That works as well. Um, I would again purchase uh, a, this your four star hero every day. That will help you get more five star fusion heroes that you can make. And again, this page, other than these two items, are situational, right? So I just assumed in the beginning that you were not getting. Um, or you did not have hero promotion stone and spirit issues, but if you are, these are situational buys where you could use gems or gold to kind of get you out of uh, over a wall. I wouldn't touch this page, and that's going to be really the same for all stages in the game. The Celestial Island, once you get it going, will provide you plenty of magic dust, and then you also now have right the um, oh, what's it called? The sorry, broken spaces, and I can't remember which one. I think it's this one. Yeah. So you do have a heroic uh, broken spaces health strike to get some uh, magic dust. So that was mid game, right? So mid game is usually you have some six, seven star heroes. Mid game is probably the longest stage um, where you, it goes from really five like a little bit of six and seven star heroes to basically I consider it a full nine star team um, being nine star team really in a full 10 star or above team is going to be end it or late game you can consider it end game I think is when you have a full e3 squad um, even maybe more than a full e3 squad so, but that is all. We are going to transition over to the late game guide. So, late game, what are your main constraints? Usually in late game, you're tailoring your team, um, maybe trying to branch out and get a, a, a really kick butt, either PvE or PvP squad or both. So again, completing those monthly events is going to be the, the biggest, biggest, biggest thing that you want to worry about then it will be five star heroes and then it will be thinking and planning for late game so moving forward again same thing regardless of if you pay to play free to play ignore this tab um, nothing that will give you any benefit and next I do not think that you will need any hold on my dog is literally slurping water over here alrighty sorry so this tab, again, I'm hoping that you do not have a spirit issue or bottleneck at late game. Now, here are promotion stones. I would definitely buy at late game. Hopefully, you're, you're a little bit more, you have a little more gold. You're not really worried about purchasing. Um, hopefully, if you are, if you're constrained for gold, don't purchase um, this every single day. But you are going to want, even after all the grinding, I am, uh, let's see if I could show you. I had over, I think, 100,000 um, Hero Promotion Stones. But as you start to br branching out and needing to get 10-star fodder and 9-star fodder, your, your Hero Promotion Stones will drain pretty quickly. 
So having a little bit of a buffer um, and purchasing purchasing that every single day, if you can, will help. And now gems, I wouldn't purchase it every single day um, unless you just have tons of gems. And even so, I don't think it would be worth spending on every once in a while unless you you're getting low. So like daily purchases are are tough. Um, this I definitely would purchase every day, and these I would only supplement when you're low. This tab, if you have the money, I would purchase everything. Um, every day I would purchase whatever three star sh three star heroes there are and the four star. Why? For gold, specifically for gold. Um, never spend gems, in my opinion, on four star or three star hero shards. One, it helps you get specific three stars as you're doing fusion events. Doesn't take up bag space, and it'll help you get tons of five stars in fusion. Uh, through fusion this page you are going to live on this page um, other than the prophets blessing and the super wishing coins if you can I would purchase and see I probably have enough to I would purchase the profit orb the wishing coins the super wishing what or yeah the wishing coins not the super wishing coin I don't think that's worth it and if you need um, definitely go the arena tokens or arena tickets so now all these items me sometimes I don't buy them every day because throughout quests and um, monthly events and weekly events I replenish um, these tokens enough to complete the event at least once now I probably could buy them every day and do it twice um, but so I like saving the gems for the gem boxes and um, the dwarven, uh, whatever it's called, gray dwarfs, to get uh, class gear. However, if and and if you're not at late game or like not at like late late game or end game, I would purchase these until you can at least complete the the month the I guess weekly event once a month if that makes sense. So I want you to have or this is, in this case the militant event once a month. So definitely purchase if you need them. The arena tokens so you can complete the monthly militant event definitely purchase the super or the excuse me wishing tokens enough that you can complete it in one full cycle um, when it comes around each month and then the profit orbs again you have a lot more gems that you want to spend I don't always buy packs and the privilege cards um, so I don't and like I said, I hate the heroic summon scrolls. I'm not very lucky with them, and with that attitude, I probably will stay that way. However, I do not think it's a good investment to um, put or invest in them. But the, obviously, if you can get 500 between each event, you get some pretty good rewards. Uh, I just don't think it's worth. I never can get that near that amount, um, and I just don't think it's worth the gem expenditure. So. Late game, whether you're free to play, again, don't even worry about this page. Um, I would purchase these daily, and the rest is supplement. Uh, hopefully you don't need this, but again, you can supplement with gold. This page, if you have enough money um, and gold isn't a super issue, definitely purchase the four star. Um, if you can, purchase the three stars, but it's not required if you're hurting for money and can't spend about three million uh, every single day here you're gonna want to if you're pay to play and have the gems and think it's worth it and you get lucky with heroic summon scrolls you could purchase these daily or or every other day um, to help you complete the event I would try to purchase this every day I am more a profit orb fan um, but that's my opinion and then these items here um, supplement and make sure you can complete the monthly of any at least once um, and it's always good to have a little bit extra, have a little bit of a buffer, because then once you get that buffer built up, you might, um, you might not need to buy these every day or at all. So that is late game, um, and now end game. So end game, really, you are, in my opinion, you are trying to get a, a top tier uh, E3 squad for PvP. You're trying to do the same for PvE as well. At least in my opinion, when I think of end game, it's end game. You're trying to complete all of the content 
in the most efficient and kick butt way that you can. So you're going to be diversifying. You're going to be needing more five stars. You're going to be doing more awakenings and levelings. So my opinion, even with that, I will tell you guys, I do not need or have any issue with the full maxed out Celestial Island getting magic dust. Um, so regardless of what stage you are, if you're just still watching, you do not need page four at all. Okay, now that that's clear, moving on, I would definitely purchase the Hero Promotion Stone 500 daily, um, just to just so you start getting low, it just helps keep you at a good level when it comes to when you have a massive push or something, you make a ton of fodder, you could drain um, that Hero Promotion Stone Reservoir uh, quickly. So, and again, these are supplements. Um, and sometimes if I, if I realize I'm getting low or it's getting close to an event where I know I'm going to kind of ball out, I will purchase um, all of them or sometimes just the 2000 because it's, it's the best deal um, when you think of it, right? So 150 times 4 is, what, 600? So for 100 less gems, you get um, 100 less gems, you'll get 2000. So you can get 2000 for 500 instead of uh, 600. Yeah, I did that math right. Good. Okay, moving on. I still don't think at any stage in the game it is worth purchasing um, three or four star hero shards for gems. I would at end game. You should have plenty of money. I hope. Um, uh, depending, maybe if you're a, a whale, you got there a lot quicker, and you still don't. Or money isn't kind of like a a loose something that you could spend willy nilly. Um, not spend willy-nilly, but you can use it um, and spend things every day and not have to worry about it going too low. I would purchase all of them. Three-star heroes and a four-star hero. Every day, that adds up. Um, each month, let's say it has 30 days. That's 120 different three-stars that aren't taking up any bag space, plus 30 more. So 120 three-stars and 34 stars. So that's a lot of heroes to help you make some uh, five-stars. This, this tab, I would, again, same thing really at any stage in the game, I would, or at this stage in the game, excuse me, I would purchase, um, if you're doing, and for me, I would purchase definitely the Profit Orb every day if you can. Um, I usually don't purchase these because I have so many that I can complete the monthly event without worrying. Um, I would start purchasing these every day if you have the gems to. Why? Because if you can complete um, two two rounds of the event uh, instead of just one, you'll get more rewards and more glorious relics and all that. Lastly, again, even at end game or if you want to call me late game, whatever, I would not recommend purchasing these unless you have the gems to. Right now, I have so many gems just because they had the uh, they had a sale on the privilege card, and they had uh, that gem, whatever it's called. Let's see if they still have it. Yeah, the diamond fund, and I got like 20k gems for 10 bucks, which was nuts. But so that's why I'm not really hurting for gems right now. But as I go through, I mean, it will it will find its way back down to zero. It always does. So again, end game. You're trying to tailor your team, get a PvP team, PvE team, complete all the content. Ignore this page. Um, definitely buy this every day. Um, this may be when you need it. If you before a few days before you have a huge push, just to keep your your level and your backup um, where it needs to be. Again, you shouldn't need this, but it's a supplement. Never buy. Um, in my opinion, always buy if you can. I definitely would buy every. Every day, every day. Situational. If you get lucky with them, buy them and have enough gems too. I would purchase, um, but that is again up to you. I'll never buy. Never. I don't like the super wishing tokens. I don't think they're worth it. I get enough through the events, and I just save them for like that. Uh, the original sin Amuvor. Um, like when that event was going on, I I, sh I, I keep around a hundred just in case, so I complete complete events like that. And these, if you need them to build up a stockpile, but I think at late game, end game, you will not need these. You should have enough that you can complete the monthly event and almost have double what you need. So, 
I know that was a lot of talking, um, but that is early, mid, late, end game analysis of the marketplace. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you're confused with anything, please let me know. Um, I'll try to answer any any questions that you have. If you have different opinions, and heck, remember, this is a guide. This is based on my experience and gameplay throughout all of those stages in the game. But if you have a different opinion, let me know. I love to hear um, how you guys, what your guys' is thinking is or your girls is thinking um, so please let me know I hope this video was informative uh, if it was hit me up with a like and a subscribe if you want more great guides and gameplay videos but EM Parallax here and remember it's all about how you look at things